everybody. I hope you're having a fabulous Monday. So I'm skipping Monday makeup for a few weeks while the holidays are coming up because there's so many other videos I want to share with you. So I've already shown you guys my Thanksgiving binder. This is very important to keeping things straight, at least in my family, um, of all the Thanksgiving preparations and details that we don't want to forget and that we want to keep organized so we stay on schedule. The very first section of this binder is in fact schedules and it is very detailed on the schedules from two weeks before Thanksgiving, the week before Thanksgiving and Thanksgiving Day. So they're very, very detailed and um, I'm going to share them with you guys. I'm also going to share at the end of the video where you can find these schedules um, in case you want to print them out and adapt them in your own lives, in your own homes. I really made a schedule that keeps me from getting overwhelmed like that. Um, so if you want to see that, keep watching and I'll be back at the end to share some final thoughts. So I want to show you first, before we go into the schedules, why I keep them in plastic um, sheet protectors. Now these again are just from the dollar store. I think I got 40 for a dollar. Um, and I don't really want to make anything in this book that expensive. I only use it for the month of November. So, you know, I do try to stay on budget. But what I like is you can take one of these Sharpie pens, just the real fine point ones, and you can check stuff off as you go. So you could check off that just like that. And once it dries, which only takes a couple of seconds, um, you can, you know, move on to the next thing. And you can throw these sheet protectors out. Um, after you're done and just put them in new sheet protectors or um, in my case I'll just leave them checked off right where they're at um, but let me get it out of this plastic bond, or sheet protector so there's no glare and let's go over the first schedule and that is the week before Thanksgiving so the week before Thanksgiving is really when I start to um, start my holiday cleaning and it's a little more detailed because you know we're gonna have guests we want the house to look and smell good so I start on Monday November 18th and you can see where I say let me zoom in just a little bit you can see where I say start holiday cleaning in the a.m. so in the a.m. it's from 8 till noon and you can see that I am gonna get the guest bedrooms ready that's the first item and within that, there's going to be washing all the bedding, straightening the rooms up, picking up the desk, putting away private items, um, you know, that are on the desk. You don't want your guests to kind of see or go through. Spot clean the walls, add candles. And then we're going to move on to cleaning up the laundry room. The laundry room is one of the messiest rooms in my house, usually. And um, I'm going to clean the laundry room on Monday morning, catch up the laundry, put the clothes away, wipe down the washer and dryer, clean under the washer lid. Have you guys looked there lately? It does get pretty nasty. Throw out empty bottles and boxes, gather up and tidy hangers. Empty trash, vacuum the big area rug um, in the laundry room, remove the cobwebs and spot clean the walls. Moving on in that morning, I'm gonna clean the upstairs bedrooms and that includes emptying the trash, dusting and wiping down the TV and appliances picking up the nightstands, putting away stray items, changing the sheets in the main bedroom and Jackson's bedroom, vacuum bedrooms and entire second floor and look and remove look for and remove cobwebs. Also spot clean the walls and spray with a good smelling spray. Then we move right on in to clean the upstairs bathrooms and that includes emptying the trash, washing the area rugs, cleaning the counters and the mirror, cleaning the shower stalls, demolding, spot cleaning walls, clean the toilet, sorry I got those backwards, and sweep up its suite. See that needs to be fixed. I can just mark that right here and I will fix that and reprint it. Sweep and mop the floor. Sorry if that's wrong on something that you print out. In the afternoon, you can see that I've marked it afternoon. I'm gonna film Monday makeup and edit. It will probably actually not be Monday makeup, but we'll see. It will probably be more of an organizational video. And you can see that I've listed what I plan on doing on the blog, Pub publish the Glam Gossip blog, publish Weekend in Review, and Monday makeup video. I find adding the blog 
to my schedules it really does help so it keeps me focused on what's going on there and with YouTube when I put blog I mean blog and YouTube because there's nothing that goes up on my YouTube channel that doesn't go on my blog so I can kind of group those two things together then we move on into Tuesday the 19th and we're gonna start in the morning um, actually Tuesday I don't have a broke down by morning because I have some other things going on that day but we're going to clean the dining room which is where one of the cat boxes um, lives but we're going to move that because we don't want to eat in there with you know the cat box remove cobwebs dust the window sills clean inside and outside windows because it's on the first floor and they're easily accessible clean front doors and china cabinet clean and polish the table and chairs dust the baseboard spot clean the walls and add some Thanksgiving touches also on Tuesday clean the living room we're gonna wash up and clean the fireplace area wipe down the TV clean and remove the cobwebs wash um, picture frames and other little items we're gonna clean the end tables clean under the cushions put away magazines clean sliding glass doors inside and out spot clean the walls and vacuum another task that I'm doing on Tuesday is cleaning the downstairs bath, emptying the trash, cleaning up the shelves, clean the toilet. Clean and shine the sink and the mirror, wipe down the walls, sweep and mop, and add candles. On the blog that day, it's published Glam Gossip Blog, Film Ask Housewife Video, Work on Wednesday Blog Post. So that's going to happen on that day. Then on Wednesday, we move right on into deep cleaning the kitchen. And I don't I only have this listed because it's going to be like an all day job. Wednesday is um, the day that I'm really going to clean our kitchen and prep it for, you know, the upcoming holiday. So that includes allowing the oven to self clean, empty the fridge and clean it really well. Um, clean the top of the stove, wash the counters down, wash the front cabinet, straighten the drawers, wash inside windows, clean fan and bench area, clean the pet dishes, and we're going to do a quick pickup of the pantry. We're going to clean the breakfast area, the table and windows, which is what we're in now, and sweep and mop. And look, it's sweet. Somehow, I didn't notice that. Spell check didn't get it, and I didn't notice. On the blog, you can see that I'm going to publish the Glam Gossip blog, publish Wednesday HodgePodge blog post, publish my currently blog post, and maybe a craft video. Thursday is plan and organize day. So we're going to go over recipes, check the pantry for what's on hand, make shopping lists, start looking for coupons, clip and print, and have calendar time. And with calendar time, we'll be going over the holiday schedules, define them even more, confirm who is coming for dinner, journal, and make a thankful craft with Jackson. Um, I left room in case I want to add more. Um, for the blog, I'm going to publish the Glam Gossip blog, publish a thankful Thursday post, a film journal, and update, film journal update video, and edit. Friday, pet care. Give Super Cooper a bath, bathe and groom all cats, clean pet bedding, and scoop the boxes. This is just pet care day um, because, you know, we don't want the cat and dog smelling. Um, blog, I'm going to publish the Glam Gossip blog. Friday, letters and publish the journal update. Saturday is upcoming events and planning. So we're going to pick out what clothes we're going to have for holiday pictures on Saturday because Scott's sister is bringing her really nice camera and going to take our holiday card pictures. Um, I'm going to paint my nails that day and take pictures for the blog. For the blog, I'm going to publish the Glam Gossip video and film and publish a kitty massage video. That's coming up very, very soon. On Sunday, you can see it's a relaxation, relaxation day and a family day. So it's kind of open, but I will be looking over the grocery list, checking the Sunday flyers, making any last minute changes, checking you know the supply of our paper products and figuring out what we need, picking up my makeup area. Also Sunday, I'm going to publish the Glam Gossip blog, work on the weekend in review post, and edit um, the Ask the Housewife video and upload. So then we move right on in to the week of Thanksgiving. So this schedule that I'm going to show you right now is for Monday through Wednesday. 
you will see that I have it broke down in morning and afternoon um, increments. So Monday, November 25th, you can see film Monday makeup um, while getting ready. So I'm going to do a Thanksgiving look and I'm going to film it while I'm getting ready. So it's like double duty. I get ready and I get a video done. I'm going to upload and publish my Glam Gossip blog and publish my weekend in review on my blog. Then I'm going to go grocery shopping, take um, a full copy of the menus with me and my grocery list and coupons. When I get home, I'm going to record a food haul and put the items away. In the afternoon, I'm going to take a break, edit Monday makeup, and upload on YouTube, publish it on the blog, 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 blah, and then in the evening, I'm going to make a simple dinner. I'm going to be doing a lot to prepare for Thanksgiving, and I don't want to make, you know, big dinners this week, so it's a simple dinner. I'm going to make ahead some holiday dishes, and I kind of lay out what I'm going to make. I'll explain that in just a little bit, and then I'm going to edit and save Glam Gossip video. Um, that is Monday evening. Then we move on into Tuesday, November 26th, and in the a.m. I'm going to upload my Glam Gossip blog and publish it, and then do a very fast house cleanup. So, for a house our size, a, ha a, fast, house ho oh, a fast house cleanup can entail anywhere from two to four hours. So it's starting and tossing laundry, 20 minute bedroom pickup including changing the sheets, that's per bedroom, 15 minute bathroom cleanup including toilet, sinks, tub, and shower, 15 minutes per bathroom, we have three, bedrooms, we have four, 30 minute kitchen cleanup and organize, a 15 minute, you know, cleaning the windows and mirrors um, throughout the home, our home, and then we're going to empty all trash, a 10 minute front porch cleanup and vacuum the entire house fast. In the evening, make a simple dinner. Wednesday, the 27th, in the morning, we're gonna start with uploading and publishing our Glam Gossip video, publish Wednesday hodgepodge um, blog post, and publish a currently blog post, quick pickup of the house, one hour to the first floor, one hour to the second floor. I know it sounds like we're picking up a lot because you see in Tuesday I did this big cleanup, but in our house, it's really important to go around and pick up every day. So it doesn't hurt to dedicate an hour to the first floor and an hour to the second floor. And you'll be amazed at how nice the house looks just with that little bit of time. In the afternoon, I'm going to be cooking. Um, I'm going to get the brine ready for the roasted turkey. I'm going to make and bake cookies and cupcakes, store them. I'm going to prep the snacks and get the kitchen clean and ready um, for Thanksgiving. And then in the evening, we will be relaxing with some computer time, enjoy a hot bath, and waiting on the arrivals of Trina and the family that should be in pretty late Wednesday night. On the blog, we will be publishing the Glam Gossip blog, Wednesday Hodgepodge, cur the, the currently post that I do on Wednesdays, and I'm, uh, I'm going to publish the Ask the Housewife video. So now we're moving on into the most detailed schedule of all. It is the Thanksgiving schedule. The one thing I want to point out is I start with my menu and I make my schedule off my menu because different things are going to be d need done at different times. So I always start with my menu. I shared my menu with you in the last um, video, which is linked below the last um, Thanksgiving video, the um, binder video. But you can see where I put a vlog through the day and get clips for the Thanksgiving 2013 um, holiday video. I like to put together a compilation of videos. You can check it out, like my Thanksgiving or my Halloween video. Um, I like little clips to put together, like a Thanksgiving video. I just enjoy doing that over the holidays. So Thanksgiving is going to start at 8 a.m. for me. I'm going to wake up, have coffee, upload Glam Gossip blog. At 8.30, I'm going to get dressed. At 9 a.m., I'm going to have a very simple breakfast. Um, and that breakfast is already outlined in the menu. At 10 a.m., I'm going to prep the veggies for the turkey. I'm going to start working on getting the snacks ready and um, cut the vegetables, too. And then I'm going to make the dips. This is at 10 a.m., by the way. I'm going to make the dips. Um, two different ranches, one blue cheese, 
I'm going to finish the desserts. I'm going to make the frosting for the cupcakes. I'm going to frost them and store them. This is the morning of Thanksgiving. I'm going to make pie toppings, add them to the pies, store them. And I'm going to start heating up my, my oven. At 11.30 a.m., it's break time and time to freshen up. It's about 30 minutes just to freshen up, maybe enjoy some time with my family, just take a break, get out of the kitchen. At 12, I'm going to prep the turkey to roast start roasting the turkey and um and i said brine on wednesday prep the brine no it's get the brine ready and get the turkey brining overnight and then at 12 p.m on thursday i'm going to prep the turkey to roast start roasting it light candles and put the cats in the upstairs bedroom at 12 30 i'm going to prep for guests and family who is already here um, i'm going to have scott make his famous guacamole dip there is a video of that i'll also link that below and do a quick pickup of the living room area, and then I'm going to put out snacks about, you know, 12, I'm guessing 45 at the end of this time here. And then at 12.50, I'm going to baste the turkey. At 1 p.m., football starts. We're going to check the DVRs to make sure they're being recorded. Guests start to arrive. Family settle in to watch the games because there will be family here, but other guests will start to come in about then. Around 1.15 p.m., I'm going to baste the turkey and work on the side dishes. I'm going to prep the green beans, clean and cut them, prep the Brussels sprouts, clean and cut them, fry bacon and onions for both dishes, Brussels sprouts and green beans, cook the pasta for the mac and cheese, and get the stuffing started. At 1.50, I'm going to baste the turkey, have a drink and snacks with family and friends, and then around 2.15, I'm going to baste the turkey again heat up the wings and pass those out. I'm going to hang out with family and friends. Be sure to call Brittany and family. There's room to add more if I need to add more. At 3 p.m. I'm going to baste the turkey again, prep the side dishes and get them started. Get the sweet potatoes and marshmallows going. Get the cranberry salad prepped and ready. Then at 3.30 p.m., which I'll show you right here, I'm going to peel the potatoes and start cooking them. Start the gravy. And I'll kind of explain the menus. Well, I've already explained the menus, but you can check them out in my other video. At 4 p.m., I'm going to baste the turkey, finish the side dishes of the mac and cheese, which will go into the oven at 4, and um, finish the Brussels sprouts. At 4.30, I'm going to baste the turkey, finish the green beans, start um, setting the dining room table. I know you can do this the night before, and it does make sense for a lot of families to go ahead and prep the dining room table. But we live with cats, and that just does not work. So I will um, set the table the day of just because I don't want the cats up on the table or getting hair on the dishes. Mm -mm. I'm going to get photographs of the dining room around that time. Around 4.45, I'm going to take the turkey out of the oven and let it start to rest. I'm going to bring the snacks into the kitchen and finish things in the dining room. I'm also going to light candles around that time. At 5 p.m., I'm going to finish up the last-minute items, put the bread in the oven, start warming the side dishes, and make the gravy. I'm also going to carve the turkey and put the food on the table. At 5.30, I'm going to make a fresh cup of coffee, sit down to dinner, pray and give thanks, and get photos and video. So right before dinner, we will start the coffee. At 6.30, we'll have desserts and coffee. At 7.30... I will start to clear the table, fill the dishwasher, hand wash the wine glasses, store the leftovers, wipe down the counter, sweep the kitchen floor, and feed the animals. At 8.15, we'll sit down to relax, and I'll upload my Thanksgiving footage at that time. At 9 p.m., pick up the living room, make coffee for morning, prep, prep breakfast for morning, which is a um, breakfast bake. Move needed items into the bedroom, let Cooper out. One last time, lock all the doors. Then at 10 p.m., you can see that I broke it down all the way till I go to bed. At 10 p.m., say goodnight to guests. Double check doors and lights. At 10, 10 p.m., sweep the bathroom floor, run a bath, and get um, my nighttime clothes out. At 10.20, I'm going to get a bath. I'm going to relax, which is one of my most favorite times of the day. At 11.15, I'm going to upload any pictures and videos that I haven't already. I'm going to save my Glam Gossip blog. I'm going to watch TV, and hopefully by 12.30, I take my sleep meds and I get to sleep. So, that is my schedules. And 
I have to put them all back in sheet protectant sprays now, or sprays, as sheet protectant sheets now. Um, and these just make a world of difference in my life. I have been very blessed with being able to keep up with the schedule. And schedules like these really keep me motivated to stay on track, to not get distracted, to not get overwhelmed, and to be able to focus on what needs to be done. Again, I do everything by menu, and I know some of you guys are going to ask, so let me go on and show you my menu kind of in detail. I think I already did on the other video, but I will kind of give you a heads up one more time on how I do it. So these are what we're having. If you want any of these recipes, oh, the glare, hold on. If you want any of these recipes, you can. all you have to do is let me know and I will be sure to send them to you, to send me an email. But the recipes are very much the same as, or the menus are very much the same as the, the daily schedules because they're very planned out. Thursday for breakfast, we'll do a light breakfast, a mason jar breakfast with mason jar um, parfaits and eggs with bacon and cheese. You make that ahead. Game day snacks include wings, chips, caramelized onion and apple tart, chips dip, veggies dip, fiesta, sangria, beer, and soft drinks. Thanksgiving dinner is brine breasted turkey, mashed uh, turkey and gravy, mashed potatoes, Brussels sprouts, mac and cheese, green beans, sweet potatoes, and marshmallows, stuffing, which you make the day of. And you can see where I put make day of, prep ahead, this schedule, this goes hand in hand with the schedules I just showed you. Cranberry salad, make day ahead. Warm bread, make day ahead. Thanksgiving desserts is a pumpkin pies. Pumpkin pie icebox um, cake and cookies and cupcakes. Breakfast for Friday after Thanksgiving is going to include a breakfast bake by Martha Stewart, prepped the night before. I'm going to make it, make it with potato latte cakes and I'm going to make those French. For lunch, we can eat out or eat leftovers. For dinner, it's going to be turkey pasta. It's like a turkey tetrazzini. Iceberg wedges and garlic bread to make the day ahead. Saturday, breakfast is leftovers. A lot of our family are going to be departing on Saturday. So I probably won't be cooking, but if anybody wants anything, there will be leftovers. I'm going to pack the guest goodies and um, give them to them before they hit the road. You can see where I've made some notes of some things I need to do. I need to pick up some more mason jars, the small ones and get some disposable pans and I have a list for what I want those disposable pans for and also a reminder to get more little storage containers to stay home with guests. So that is how I plan. I hope that this has been helpful. Let me get in front of the camera again and we'll finish this video up. So that was pretty detailed, was it not? Um, I really like a detailed plan. It really keeps me on track. It keeps my mind from going in a bazillion places at one time. And I like being able that I can just check it off with a marker right on those little sheet protectors because they're so cheap. Um, and it really helps me. I hate hearing people say that, you know, Thanksgiving and Christmas and Easter and the big holidays are really stressful for them. Because, you know, in our reality, for Thanksgiving, you're supposed to, you know, enjoy a marvelous feast and spend time with your family and your friends going over what you were thankful for and what things you're blessed with and it's just um, not supposed to be stressful and that's why I think sticking to a game plan really really helps it helps me it helps my family it helps my husband who you know has things to do also to help with Thanksgiving and if we have it road mapped out for us we stay on track so much easier so I also have a video coming up in the coming days like tomorrow or the next day of how I menu plan, how I save money at the store. And I want to get that up really soon because I want it to go kind of correspond with the Thanksgiving shopping, the holiday shopping. There are so many ways you can save money and budget whenever you are feeding a big crowd or even just a family of two or four. You know, it matters. Um, most of my friends and family are not like independently wealthy. They watch their money and even um, if they do have a little bit of money they keep it by watching what they spend and it doesn't hurt to look for some coupons it doesn't hurt to shop the sales all those tips are going to be in that video coming up really soon if you want to check out these thanksgiving schedules you can find them on pinterest on one of my boards and that is linked below i believe it's the first board on my page and it's also on my blog at kjires.com um, that you can just print off really, really easy. And if you would like an actual link to the Word document, I will 
send that to you just send me an email um, leave any questions in the comments that you have like comment subscribe thank you guys for coming around and watching these videos I love making them I love editing I love filming it's just a wonderful experience I hope that this helps um, some of you guys who find the holidays stressful that's why I'm sharing these um, planners and these binders and I already put my um, schedules back in but the schedules too the schedules are really the most important thing for me the recipes aren't even the most important because I can breeze through almost everything in a traditional Thanksgiving menu without a single recipe um, at this point but these schedules really keep me focused so again thank you for watching I'll be back very very soon any questions or comments leave them below bye bye